Hello everyone, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here, and today we're going to discuss how to sketch a bay roof. Now, Xactimate comes with a package, a uh, bay roof package that usually works for interior, but not so well for the exterior. So we've got this style of bay roof here. Notice that it has independent hips here and three flat planes, and this front plane is almost a rectangle, but not quite. So I'm going to show you how to sketch this because the bay roof package would not work as well on getting the dimensions of the shingles for that roof. So let's go take a look at how to sketch a bay roof free-handed. Here I am in Xactimate and I've got this bay roof here that has this weird ridge. And the bay roof kit that I was using, uh, you can find under the window tool and bay with roof. That's what I was trying to manipulate to create a roof that looks similar to this. So this is what we're trying to achieve. We've got three foot 10 here and then three foot on this side. I believe there's another section that's three foot 10. So that's what we're trying to recreate here. And that bay roof kit is just not working for me either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the flat roof or shed roof tool. So I'm gonna go to the roof and I'm gonna place a flat shed roof. Now, to create this shape, we are going to have to use vertexes. And then if you notice, this roof here is actually pretty much a square. If you're drawing this, you should be able to tell me whether there's angles or not. To me, it looks square, so we're gonna go with that. Um, and, but I'll show you how to edit it if there's a slight angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the first piece or the first angle to begin with. And to do that, we're gonna use the vertex tool here on the edge of the roof. I'm just gonna left click, hold and drag that down, creating that first shape. Now, I just create the shape and then I tailor it to how the roof is actually oriented. In this instance, this is gonna be the first side over here. Not, not this side, it's that side. See how it's the triangle, it's gonna go that direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the roof properties. We're going to go ahead and make it 612 was the pitch and also change your eave overhang. I'm going to make it two inches on both of these to, due to the fact that when you have these larger overhangs um, and you have a small roof, it interferes with it and exactimate and makes it really tough. So I'm just going to make those eaves pretty narrow and as you can see we probably a pretty narrow eaves there. So you could probably put in the actual eave amount of four or six inches, whatever it is, but we're gonna use two for this uh, demonstration. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and create this roof out here outside of the home. Notice I'm not snapping it to the wall yet. So I'm going to make it three foot 10 over there for that portion of the roof, get three foot 10, and that looks really good. Then I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna paste it, and I'm gonna rotate it around using the tab tool. So I'm gonna kind of create this area here where we're gonna put that middle slope. This slope will go in the middle there. So I'm gonna grab my roof again. I'm gonna place a big square roof. We're gonna set the properties. We're gonna go 612 and two inches and two inches. And we're just gonna fit this guy in here. He should be three foot at the front is what the directions told me. And I'll make him kind of skinny and we'll pop him right in here. Might have to move this roof away. So you got your three foot piece. Let's make him snug like that. And now you've got this roof here like so. So then what you can do, let's take a look at 3D and see everything's all crazy. Actually, that is a really cool looking roof. It's like the Sydney Opera House or something. <laughs> But what we're gonna do is you can see these roof orientations are incorrect. So you're gonna choose a roof, go to your orientation tool. You're gonna hover where you want the arrow sloping upwards. Wherever you see an arrow like this in Xactimate, it's sloping upwards. It's telling you which direction the roof slopes. So I want this to slope in this direction. So I'm gonna hover right here, left click once to change that orientation and do the same with this guy and the same with that guy. Let's take a look at 3D now. Now we've got that shape. And what I would do is I'd rename this bay window. I was gonna call it bay. And then I'll make these roofs a subgroup of the bay. Oops, not the bay roof. 
Is that set of the roof over there? There we go. And make him a subgroup. Always zoom in if you're having trouble selecting the roof, by the way. So this is all a subgroup of this roof, and now that it's a package, Sorry, that didn't work. It didn't become a package. All you can do is left click, hold, and drag, and that'll make it a package, and you can move it into the home here. Now, when you do that, it may change some dimensions. So at least create the shape out here, and then when you snap it to the roof, you might have to change some things. Notice that it's three foot seven there, so we have to pull that down. Um, it becomes really um, kind of cumbersome, but it is doable. So. That's how I would do it. I would then dial in the dimensions here, get that all squared away, pull this guy back in. You know where I'm going with that. So, um, at the end of the day, I probably just would have hand calculated the square footage rather than sketching that. That would have taken me much less time than, I did, than sketching. But if you have to sketch it, that's how you do it. One thing I forgot to mention is if this is slightly angled, this middle roof, you can hover and click on the vertex here at the edge and then hold down your shift key and you are able to free form these angles if needed. So if that uh, looked like that, let's see here, trying to keep it straight across in the front and then if this looked like this over here, again trying to keep it straight on the front, um, you could then bring these in to that three foot and it takes some, uh, you know, dialing in to do that. And we could put him back in there. And then we would have to freeform these guys in order to fit with that shape. So it is possible. Again, I don't know if uh, you want to spend that much time on it. But you could dial these in using that shift key and get them to meet up uh, with the vertex here and uh, messing around with that and getting all the angles correct and all of that. So if it is a slight angle there, you can try to recreate that. I made it simple by making everybody just a box. So um, if, it, if that oversimplified it and you need to do something like this, that would be how you'd complete that. If you like this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe below for our weekly tech tips. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on what we do, go to www.xm8mastery.com and I will see you next week.